All right, so we've all heard of Mid Journey and Dolly and Stable Diffusion, but can Starry AI enter the race? Let's find out. My name is Jordan Wilson, and I am the host of your Everyday AI. If you haven't heard of us, we're a daily live stream podcast, free daily newsletter, helping everyday people learn and leverage generative AI. So let's learn some new generative AI and see if we can leverage it. So this is called our AI in five session. So we show you a tool, we see how good it is, or if it isn't good in about five minutes. So we're going to look at Starry AI today. So it is uh, what appears to be a very easy to use AI image generator. So uh, a lot of people have heard of something like Mid Journey. We're big Mid Journey fans. Uh, Doll E2, uh, Stable Diffusion. So there's a lot of different AI image generators. So let's give Starry AI uh, a shot here. So there is a somewhat limited free plan. So uh, already just signed up, went through that process. It took about three clicks. So very easy uh, to get going with Starry AI. So uh, when you open the interface, here's what you're met with. Pretty easy. It's blank. Uh, you just click the plus button and then you get options. So I like this, uh, because in something like mid journey, where you're working in discord, you kind of have to, uh, prompt a little bit to say whether you are looking to generate art or photos or illustrations. So I do like that starry AI, uh, just gives you that option to choose. So I'm going to click photo and let's see, uh, one of the things I like to do is just see how realistic it is compared to something I've already looked at or something I've already done. So, um, I'm going to have it uh, do the, and I can't, I can't pronounce this, but a famous uh, waterfall in Iceland. I've been there. So let's see if it can generate uh, an image. So I, I just pasted it in there, um, click to generate, and we're doing this live. Uh, that's the other thing. Uh, when, when, when I do these AI and fives, it's never a polished, um, you know, edited. This is doing it all live, right? So we do a live stream every day. Uh, the podcast isn't edited. So the same thing with our AI in five, we just review something as it is and we see if it's any good. So you guys know. Um, so I click to generate. It looks like it's generating. I'm not quite sure. Uh, that's the other thing about doing those live, uh, doing these live, you get to really see what's the interface like, uh, for, for tools that are kind of new. So it says in progress, uh, not really sure how long, uh, that might take, but as we're waiting, Let's go ahead and take uh, take a look at uh, some some different parts of the Starry AI interface. Uh, so it looks like once you have a lot of different uh, a lot of different generations here, you can change the number of columns. Uh, so it looks like you can create different projects, different styles. So it looks like for styles, unfortunately, uh, you have to uh, join the beta, which is on Discord. Uh, it looks like my creations. Oh, it looks like ours is already done. Cool. So let's go ahead and take a look at where we were before. So it looks like it's done. Here is the uh, the waterfall, the Selandas Frost. I can't say that. All right, so if I click on it, okay, it looks like I can do some slight variations here uh, at the bottom. So let me go ahead and click one. Okay, it. I like that you don't have to wait uh, and re-render it. So you just get the different options on what you might want. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and choose, um, I'm going to go ahead and choose the one with just this one person kind of, uh, standing underneath. So let's look here at the bottom. Let's see what our options are for this. So it looks like I can share it, download it, uh, evolve, which I'm guessing would be some kind of remix, uh, upscale it or publish it. So I'm going to go ahead and upscale it. And again, I'm on a free account. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and click this eight X. So it looks like it's processing. Again, I just signed up with a free account. It uh, looks like you have uh, limited generations, which would make sense because these these models they all you know cost uh, you know they all have costs associated with them. So you're you're, you're never really going to find something that is high quality and free from a smaller company, right? Uh, bigger companies you can, right? Uh, Microsoft, as an example, uh, I believe they have an image generator that has pretty generous uh, free plans, but. Uh, one kind of thing, it's it's a little hard to know when something's done. You kind of, you don't really get a notification, but I see that this uh, turned into download. So let's just click download. Uh, all right, it looks like it downloaded. I'm going to go ahead and drop it in the browser here, and then let's take a look at this photo. 
All right, so pretty good. I'm gonna zoom in, we can look at the quality. So again, this to me, this doesn't look photorealistic. That's the option I chose. Uh, so if you're used to using uh, an AI image generator, like the new stable diffusion model or like mid journey, um, you know, I don't think from a quality perspective, uh, it's, it's quite at that level. But one thing I will say is this starry AI was pretty easy to use. Um, the, the user interface is, is pretty easy. Uh, I like that. Um, I think there's some things that could be improved with the, uh, with the UI, but there's some other options here. So you can choose, uh, pre-choose a style, you know, cinematic, sci-fi, photography. Uh, I think by default, I did have uh, cinematic. You can click start image. You can have the different canvas size, uh, runtime. So that looks like a higher runtime will give you a higher quality image, but it'll take longer. Uh, so yeah, it looks like there's some other options that are only available for a paid plan. So what do I think of Starry AI? Well, it's a newer tool, uh, but I think it's 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 pretty good. It's easy to learn. Um, I like that you don't have to really know prompting necessarily, even though prompting in mid-journey is very simple, very easy and straightforward. I like that this is more of a click to use interface. So if you're looking for uh, kind of a first um, tool to use in AI image generation, or if you don't right now want to pay uh, monthly, uh, I, I do think there's a little bit of a free plan. The free plan isn't a ton, but you can at least go in, check out uh, Starry AI, see if it's for you. So if this was helpful, which I hope it was, please go to your everydayai.com. Sign up for our free daily newsletter. We do an AI N5 every single day. So sometimes it's a new software, sometimes it's a new chat GPT plugin, or just uh, something that you can do by combining different elements of generative AI. So make sure if this was helpful, subscribe to the channel, uh, like this video, leave us a comment, but also please go to your everydayai.com, sign up for the free daily newsletter. Uh, yeah, I hope this is helpful. I hope you join us again for another AI in five. Thanks.